Hello there, time for sports here on News Prime. And um, it's been a day of rest at the 2018 FIFA World Cup. But there are still issues to be dealt with. FIFA has warned Argentine legend Diego Maradona to watch his behavior. This is after um, Maradona was captured um, using the middle finger um, after Argentina's victory against Nigeria. We're aware of... Uh, what you're referring to in terms of the previous matches and I think go back to my first uh, one of my first answers where you know we would expect and uh, all players former players staff fans everyone uh, to uh, to behave in a, in a, in a respectful uh, manner um, but having stars like Diego involved um, like uh, Puol uh, like Zanetti having these really guys who have who have built up the fabric of football having them working together with us on our goals um, is, is part of a much bigger uh, picture. FIFA cautioning Diego Maradona they will still stay on the World Cup and um, Portugal's president Marcelo Rebelo de Souza has been in the United States on a visit inside the Oval Office um, at the White House in a conversation with US President Donald Trump. He waxed lyrical about Portugal's biggest sport and export Cristiano Ronaldo. Now um, Mr. Trump suggested that Ronaldo um, Cristiano Ronaldo will be a leadership threat to current Portugal president Marcelo Rebelo de Souza. Don't forget that Portugal has the best player in the world. That is called Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, I'm I sure know. your son knows it. He knows all about and it. So, and so, don't forget, if you ever go to Russia during the championship, don't forget Portugal is still there and wanting to win. That's right, doing very well. Yes. Right. And they say he is. And doing very, very, very well. That's right. Yeah. And so tell me, how good a player is he? Are you impressed? I'm very much impressed. He's the best player of the world, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. So, in a sense, uh, well, I think has been a success. I do agree with you. Yeah, the great. championship. No, no, yes. great. Yeah. I think. I think. No doubt about it. For the world. For the world. So, will Christian ever run for president against you? He wouldn't win. You know, he won't. President, do you know, you know something I must tell you. Portugal is not just the United States. That's not, right. That's a little right. different. Classic um, Donald Trump there. How interesting is going in His Excellency Cristiano Ronaldo of Rodo Santos. Um, but I, know, I don't know if Cristiano Ronaldo has got political ambition. Let's still stay with football. This time some transfer news. Wayne Rooney moved from Manchester United and made a return to his boyhood club Everton. He's moved on from Everton to the United States Major League Soccer. Four-time MLS champions DC United confirmed the signing of all-time leading England scorer Wayne Rooney from Everton on Thursday. Rooney follows in the footsteps of Swedes Latin Ibrahimovic and retired countryman David Beckham by leaving Europe for MLS later in their careers. He signed a three-year designated player contract with DC United and is expected to make his debut on the 14th of July when the team opens its new stadium in southeast Washington against the Vancouver Whitecaps. I think DC obviously showed a, a great interest in me and the opportunity to come over here. It's a great city, obviously the the capital to come over with my family and um, but also it's a, a great project with the new stadium, the new training facilities next year and it was something which really excited me so that was my reason to want to try and help DC get back to winning trophies and hopefully I can do that. Uh, I, you know we, we haven't had this type of uh, world-class player uh, at this club and uh, I, I think it's, it's time uh, that, that we move in that direction as far as bringing uh, quality players uh, that, that also resonate with our fans and uh, he's a, a, uh, a, a not only uh, a, a, again a great player that's going to elevate our team uh, he's also a, a huge name uh, that people are going to want to come out and see. So Wayne Rooney will be playing for DC United next season. Meanwhile at Manchester United. Maron Fellaini, who um, the, the club's fans that want to see exit the club, has signed a two-year contract extension with Manchester United. So Fellaini's contract sees him stay at Old Trafford until 2020 with an option of a third year. And he revealed Jose Mourinho's faith in him. 
was key here behind his decision to stay at United. So Fellaini, an important member of Mourinho's squad, and he scored some important goals as well. Fellaini! There is the agony for Arsene and the joy for Manchester United and Marouane Fellaini. And in boxing, the next fight for Anthony Joshua has been confirmed. He'll be fighting Alexander Povetkin. The fight everyone wants to see, though, is the fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Negotiations um, are proving very, very difficult. And um, promoter Barry Hearn has criticized Wilder over his behavior during negotiations with Anthony Joshua. There's nothing bigger than Anthony Joshua out there. And, of course, everyone wants to see the Wilder fight. So do I. I'm a fight fan. And there's a time and a place for it. And we appreciate, you know, Deontay Wilder's not making any money. He probably looks at Anthony Joshua with a good degree of jealousy. You know, I'm the biggest name in America and I'm earning less than a tenth of what Anthony gets per fight sort of thing. It's not, not good for you, is it? So he's got a contract now. I've heard so much about he's shouting around about, oh, these bums are this and they don't do that. Look. Whoever you believe, it doesn't really matter. The point of fact is, there's a contract on your people's desk which says April the 13th, 2019, Wembley Stadium. The contract encapsulates all the terms you have agreed. It's only one thing you've got to do. Sign the contract. AJ's waiting. So don't tell me you wanted to fight September, you're disappointed. There's your opportunity. As you sign that contract, I'll give you my word, we will sign outside that contract before your ink is dry. That's Matchroom's Barry Hand, and um, let me also mention that Deontay Wilder rejected 20 million US dollars to fight Anthony Joshua. Let's wrap things up with tennis. The Fort Garrison Officers Mess Tennis Club is to hold a tennis tournament every year in honor of the Ashanti Regional Police Commander DCOP Kwesi Duku. The maiden edition of the competition will be held between the 29th of June and the 1st of July 2018. Love FM's Delali Atiase has more in the following report. The tournament will see the host club contest the Sakumono Tennis Club in what many envisage will be a fierce and uncompromising encounter. President of the Officers Mess Tennis Club, SS Abebe, says the club will use the annual tournament to help raise the image of DCOP Duku and to cut the necessary public support to enable him efficiently carry out his duties. Uh, it will, it will start, it's starting from this Saturday that we'll play in his honor and every year you know we draw a yearly calendar so every year before we draw the calendar we will consult him and draw the calendar and fix it so that he knows that this particular year this date will play the tournament in his honor DCOP Duku, who is also a member of the four garrison of Sesame's tennis club was grateful for the honor done him he said the support of the club will make his stay in office a success he called on them to rally behind him. The collective responsibility. Um, as a club coach, which I am a member, we have a very big task to ensure that I succeed with everything. I need your support. Because when I excel, the club name That's it for sports. My name is Hans Mainzando.